what the current zoning and land use is for the site. But essentially, this site was uh, was part of the single tax colony, and the single tax uh, colony gave it to the city, which they did a lot of land uh, about this era when this article was written, and then the city gave it to the school board, I believe, for a dollar. The article says. And just to kind of give you some context, you know, for many, many years in Alabama, and especially in Baldwin County, you had a lot of these small community schools. There were one-room schoolhouses. You had them in every little small community throughout the, the county. But around the 1920s, there were some uh, educational reform movements in the state of Alabama, and you saw a, a kind of a construction boom uh, from the standpoint of schools. And you'll see uh, the uh, the top left is the K-1 Center when it was the high school in 1920, and that uh, and that gives some uh, additional uh, allowances as for construction and so forth. Uh, but again, it is on R2 medium density, and that's important to keep in mind as we go forward. Have it does say that school has has to remain in public purpose, which means it has to be used for a community purpose, and so I think that's very very important. Also, to provide some context.